Good morning, friends. It's Miss Parkin. Let's get started with our Jackrabbit Pride song. I have a positive attitude. I'm responsible. Have integrity. I'm dedicated and exceed expectations. I have Jackrabbit Pride. Yeah! I have Jackrabbit Pride. Yeah! I have Jack Rabbit Pride. Yeah. I have a positive attitude. I'm responsible. Have integrity. I'm dedicated and exceed expectations. I have Jack Rabbit Pride. Yeah. Today we're going to learn more of our story of Swimmer. Swimmer, he is the jackrabbit, even though most jackrabbits are not named Swimmer, but our friend, his name is Swimmer, even though he's a jackrabbit. Last time, we talked about his friendship and spending time with his good friend, Skipper, and today, we're going to talk about his friendship with a jackrabbit who's not as kind. And that friend's name is Jumper. When Swimmer first met Jumper, he introduced himself in a positive, upbeat way, saying, hi, I'm a jackrabbit. My name's Swimmer. What's your name? And Jumper was confused. He was confused about Swimmer's name, that his name is Swimmer, but he's a jackrabbit, and jackrabbits don't usually swim. Now, it's normal to be confused, but the way he showed that he was confused wasn't the nicest way. Instead of just saying, oh, Swimmer, like that's an interesting name. That's, that's kind of weird, don't you think? In a nice way. Instead, he talked to Swimmer like this. Oh, so like, you're a fish? Cause like only like fish would have a name like Swimmer. Like Swimmer's like the most ridiculous name you could like ever have. And it's understandable that Swimmer didn't like being around Jumper that much because anytime he would try to play with Jumper and be friends, Jumper would bring it right back to, oh, like, you're the fish rabbit, you're the fish rabbit, ha, 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 ha. And understandably, Swimmer didn't feel great about that. So Swimmer tried to avoid Jumper as much as possible. But sometimes Jumper would find him anyway. And Swimmer would try to be as kind and polite as possible. But Jumper, every time, was just not very kind. An example of this was one time Swimmer decided to talk all about Jumper and tell Jumper how great of a jumper he is. He'd say, wow, Jumper, you're like really good at jumping. Like, do you practice a lot? Well, like, yeah, but like... It's like natural because I'm gifted and I'm awesome that way. Oh, that's cool. Well, do you think like you could teach me like a few tricks on how I could do my jumping better? And Swimmer's trying to be really positive and like, hey, maybe if Jumper helps me out and I show that, you know, I'm a good friend, he'll be a good friend too. But Jumper would tend to ruin every opportunity Swimmer was trying to do to be good friends. For example, when Swimmer asked Jumper about helping him jump better, Jumper came back with, oh, well, like, do fish jump? Like, you can't, you can't really jump very far anyway because you're a fish, remember? Because, like, only fish swim and you're a swimmer, swimmer. And it kind of bummed Swimmer out. 
And he wanted to have that positive attitude of, hey, you know what? I can still be a good friend no matter what. But Jumper wasn't making it easy. One day, after spending a day with Jumper, Swimmer went back home to his rabbit burrow and his mom was making carrot cake cookies. Now, usually when Swimmer's mom was making carrot cake cookies, he was so happy and oh, they were so good. It was like a blend of like a sugar cookie, but like, like a little bit of carrot cake, but not too much carrot and like enough of a sugar cookie to balance it. It was super good. And he would just want to eat them all up. His mother would have to say, Swimmer, now save some cookies for the rest of your brothers and sisters. But today, even with the smell of carrot cake cookies traveling through the burrow, Swimmer didn't grab any. And his mom noticed that. She said, Swimmer, what's wrong? So Swimmer, he thought, should I tell mom about it? Or should I keep it to myself? Hmm. So his mom noticed that he was thinking a lot. And so she asked again, she said, Swimmer, honey, is there something you need to talk about? And so Swimmer, He's like, no, I'm okay, mom. I, I don't have to talk about anything. Now, Swimmer's mom was really smart. She knew that Swimmer didn't want to talk to her, so she gave him a cookie. And Swimmer, at first, he had, had the cookie in his paws, and he didn't really want to eat it. But then, you know, it just it smelled so good. So he took, like, a little nibble, and then he started eating a little bit more, and next thing you know, he's onto the second cookie. And it's at this time that his mom asked him again. She said, Swimmer, now that you've had a good few cookies, feeling a little bit better? Oh yeah, mom, I'm feeling so much better. Like these cookies are amazing. Well, that's great, honey. What was bothering you before? And so Swimmer shared what was bothering him. He said, well, mom, I'm working really hard on being a good friend to all the other jackrabbits in the burrow. And I have my really good friend, Skipper, you know about him. Yes, honey, I know about him. Well, I have this other friend too. Really? What's, what's his name? Well, his name's Jumper and he's like a really good jumper. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it's just every time I try to be like good friends with him, he's always like making fun of me. Like, saying that I'm a fish, which like, mom, I'm totally not a fish. I know, honey, I know you're not a fish. I'm not a fish. But like, he says I'm a fish because my name is Swimmer. Oh, well, how does that make you feel, honey? Well, it makes me feel pretty bad. And it doesn't make me feel good on the inside. What do I do, mom? Well, it's a tricky situation you have here because you want to be a good friend to everyone, but this friend Jumper, he's not really being a good friend for you. What do I do, mom? What, what should I do? I mean, like, what's the right thing? I want to have a positive attitude and be like, oh, I can be everyone's friend, but it's being really hard to be Jumper's friend. And so, skip uh, Swimmer's mom, she said, you know, Swimmer, sometimes you have to make these choices for yourself. That do you want to still be a good friend to Jumper, even if he's not a good friend to you? Or to help yourself, do you just not want to be his friend at all? And so Swimmer was like, well, Mom, what's the right answer? And his mom was like, well, that's for you to decide. And that kind of annoyed Swimmer. He was like, come on, mom, just give me the answer. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. Just tell me the answer. But his mom 
made him do the hard thing, which is to think about it long and hard and to decide for yourself. And we'll learn about swimmer's decision tomorrow. Let's end with our jackrabbit chant. We are jackrabbits. We show our pride at the end of the day. We know we've tried. Believe we can achieve. We'll reach any dream. We are jackrabbits. We are a team. Woo! One school, one team. One school, one team. Bye, friends. Love you. See you tomorrow.